They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah. Because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? Want to sip? It's okay. Uh, I'm a kid. Uh, okay then. Suit yourself. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. Did you ever get caught? Yeah. The problem with glass is, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me. Drunk. Blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. Time to not make it weird. Want to sit here? No. That's... Uh, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. <laughs> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. All right, enough of that. Hey, you Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah, we need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. I don't like it either, but we shouldn't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. 
So I think it's best. Leave to... me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone! Please, dear. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh... Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah! Jesus Christ! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built! We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. Is there any other way to get there? Do we have to cross the lake? I should have stuck to the tree line. The fastest way between two things is a straight line. It's not far. Just be on the lookout. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. If we just go real slow, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, no need to rush this. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. We're okay. Don't worry. We got some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. Should be alright. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us! Fuck! That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! <gasps> Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't hurt him!
Well, they made it. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just I just gotta be careful. Oh! No, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine! I'm fine! No, you're not! I just gotta pull myself out! The walkers are almost here! Hurry! Yeah, I know. You ain't helping. You need to help. No! Clem, you're go! Fall through. Go help no, him! No, Clem, Clem, do not! Just go back for him! You're lying! You, Stop you can do telling it. her that! Clem, look at me! Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time! Clem, you can make it, but you need to go! No! Now! Clem, it's too dangerous! He's gonna yeah, die! I just need Clem. some more time! Clementine, stop! Clementine! Go back! I got you! Please! It's gonna be alright! I got you. No. I got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're gonna be okay. Go. To the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck. She's gonna fucking freeze to death. How the fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get her warm. She's gonna freeze to death. It's just gone. Looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. God damn it. I tried to help him. I just. I said I started to go. There wasn't nothing any of us could do. Clem tried to help him. He just. This is your fucking fault! Kenny! Don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault! The hell it ain't! <sighs> I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Tommy, piece of shit, Teddy! Fuck you! You mother! Fuck the fuck, Kenny! Kenny, stop it! There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help How is baby? beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. Fine. 
Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh. You got a light? I thought I had matches. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. We have to move on now. I know. I know. <sighs> I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. We'll be okay. Trust me. If you say so. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it. I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem. You know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on, let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son bitch, but he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. 
Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me and mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's got to be something out here, other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! We'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Wish they'd finished this place. Want one? No, thanks. Do you remember when you saw me first, back at the lodge? Took one look at me and hell no, she ain't coming inside. I liked you from the start. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? All the time. Yeah. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I don't really know what I want. Maybe I ought to start thinking about it. You know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people. A lot of men. And listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! 
seen that look before. Son of a bitch! Oh, damn it. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. We can still make this work. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. Want to try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it puked. It puked. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. So we made it? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. 